Welcome back to the Audio Handsome channel. Today, we're going to face a very common problem. If you own one of these, they're not scammable whatsoever, but over time, you may see these come out. And this, this time it happened to us. And it's a very common problem, and we are now doing the first S. And remember, the S's stand for how to solve a problem. The S's say the problem, so you recognize it, and you try to fix it, and you want to fix it. And it gets supplies. S is actually when you solve it. And then S, third S is solution. We have no more problem. It's solved. So one method is just putting it in here in the spout. And then you would just hammer it in, which we tried. Wait, wait, wait. wait. And it, it would normally come out. It would work for some time. For a very little bit of time. And it's not a good solution. So we are going to be doing the right way now. So the better way is to make it more, more long term. So click Insider Sneak Peek. We're going to be using a general and this. Pretty cool, huh? This is called a soldering iron. I'll tell you more about it when we actually get to use it. But the first thing we're going to be using is dirt travel. So the reason why is we want to grind away any loose particles on the metal. So when we grind away all the particles, we can solder the metals together with the metal, and that will stay. There's no stuff in here, so it will never come out. And the first thing is we need to remove the pump out of the soap dispenser. This we don't need for the rest of the project. We only need it when we put it back in. Make sure we put it in carefully if it's the tinsel got rock point. So before we solder the metal together, we need to prepare the surface with our Dremel, which is why I told you the Dremel comes first. So first we need to do is insert our grinding bit into the Dremel. So we need to put it in. There we go. We pulled it up here. And we spin it. Still came down. There we go, now it's locked. Now, so now, before we continue, we have to make sure the speed is low. Very well, perfect. Now, we can take this out, and now we're gonna grind the surface before we can do it. So, let's turn it on. I actually had the wrong side. Now we're going to do the other side right here. I'm not going to go all the deeper inside so I don't start the surface. So the cameraman is gonna zoom in. It looks like this metal alloy got chrome pleated. So as you can see, both surfaces are ground and ready for soldering. So now we're having to prepare for soldering. Here we got some flux paste. It's actually called paste flux, but we're calling it flux paste. We're gonna just put some on like this, as you can tell. Wait, I don't know why it's not coming on. Wait, now it is. It's kind of hard putting it on with a toothpick. Okay. I don't want this one, so I gotta put it here. Oh, it's okay for that's my hand from what I know. I will go to apply some flux on the spout. Wait, same thing is going on. Pretty interesting. 
Okay, I think now we can put this and then we can. So now I'm gonna use my pliers. So let me tap them in so they so it stays in there. And then we're gonna, of course, we're gonna we are gonna be using this to to keep it attached. So here we have our soldering iron. It's already prepared, so we don't want to change it, and we're not gonna touch it extra times, because that would be weird. So here we have our flux paste prepared. We're gonna put it in there. We're gonna dip our soldering iron in there. And then here we have our lead-free soldering wire solder, solid. And this has no lead, that's why I'm saying lead-free. And we're gonna get the soldering iron, and we're gonna put it on here. I'll show you. So, get it? Don't be afraid of the noise. Doesn't matter about the smoke. As you'll see, this will melt. And then we got some metal here. And then we... Add it. Now let's get some more metal. It actually solidifies pretty fast. But so does it melt fast. And we got some metal. It's solidifying pretty fast. So to make sure you're doing properly. Let's get some more metal here. It'll melt. Oh, see a bee fell. We'll get it. So now I'm gonna get some more flux. I want the surface to be clean. We got some metal here. But the metal is here for some reason. We can pour the metal. Now it's all good. I want it doesn't pick up. So now I just finished soldering. Now I'm gonna show you how this looks like. So, the next two steps are cleaning and polishing. So basically, the first step cleaning is basically just making it not hot anymore. So now we're gonna clean it and then we're gonna polish it. But for safety reasons, we're gonna put it in water because we don't want this to be very hot. I'm gonna put it in some water and now we're gonna let this cool down. So now I'm going to take this out of the water, and I'm going to wipe, and remember that this step is optional. I'm going to wipe it down to make it nice and clean, and we're going to be actually polishing it. And I'm going to show you how this looks right now. So now I'm going to polish the surface to make sure everything looks beautiful. So we just did step one of the polishing. Now we're gonna change out this and we're gonna change it for this. But first I wanna show you how this looks. Okay, now we're gonna change it.
it took a different bit of a smooth out the surface even more. This is like a sandpaper. It's pretty cool. Now the final step is assembly. So we get this part inside finally, and then we screw this in place. It's not screwed in place. So I'm gonna press it a couple of times. If it's thumping, I'm gonna add some soap and see if it actually works. And here are some soap bubbles, which probably means it works. So now I'm gonna add some soap and see if it truly works. So here we got some soap. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this out, I'm gonna insert some salt, and we're gonna try it out. So I just added enough soap. And now I'm going to screw this pump back on, and then let's see if it actually works. So we're going to give this a couple of pumps because there's still some air inside, but when this is a problem with soap, it's going to start coming out. Like that, you see? Don't, you see how the soap is sold beautifully? Don't worry, we're not wasting any of it. We're, we're using it for fun! <laughs> I'm gonna wipe my hands and now I'm gonna tell you what we did do. So, first, I actually wanted to tell you that we have some very interesting stuff. I didn't explain it to the video, but I wanted to tell you because I thought you wanted to know. We got some of these excess beads. They have no lead because I told you they don't have lead already, right? It's from this anti, from no lead wire solution. They're pretty funny. They're pretty small. They're pretty cool. They're very interesting. So to conclude in this video, this is already cooled down. I can show you. They're a nice high quality electric, electric soldering iron. Iron. Oh, that's weird. I'm gonna touch it now. It's better to touch it only by hand. You want it's cool. We got our flex space. We got our Wire soldier that's lead free. We do not want any lead in this. It would be bad because you know what happens with lead? It's it's toxic and it gets stored in your bones and it's bad for you. You know before people knew it was lead was bad, people normally get lead poisoning. It was horrible. So finally we got our drill here. As I told you, we use it to polish things or just get things in shape. And finally, thank you for Daddy for teaching me all, all of this because I didn't know this because this is the first time we had this kind of problem. And Daddy's filming right now and he films all the time unless he's actually in the video, which is pretty rare. And Daddy's what tells me all this about Daddy. None of this would be possible. I wouldn't be possible. This channel wouldn't be possible. The internet started right now wouldn't be possible. Nothing right now you're, you're, nothing right now you're watching would be possible about daddy. So bye!